Here we go. We're going to grand finals. So Martian Magic is on the side over here. He's on the winner side of the bracket. You can. You can't. Pokemon is is off. So you can just get rid of that one. Let him know, Contra. You might have to make some sort of odds, though, because calling a $5 on somebody who's in the winner's side of the bracket is a little different. Oh, fantastic. Stomping the knee. We actually haven't like seen a whole lot of that actually occur, but he's obviously proving that Martian Magic is proving that he knows it. He knows about it. So, kind of a little recap for for those of you who've been like keeping up with this. How cool is it, Martian Magic? He's he's kind of been coming and going to some stuff, and he went to Dracula's Castle too. That was the first time I saw him. Entered a different tag. Did you know modest in bracket did pretty good in the amateur bracket we entered afterwards and now he's here at grand finals of the tournament winner side calderon i only met the guy for the first time at the free for all all items all stages bar tournament in beaverton like two days ago that was a fun goof and all and who would have thought this guy comes in here and he's he's a powerhouse he's a machine you have to worry about that's crazy this being our grand finals we couldn't have expected this we didn't expect either of these people to be at this point see them both modestly we expected to see something like stick boy or manx who both respectively did do well manx got third stick boy got fourth but both these people performed further than what we would have expected and we we're also really surprised to see uh blez not go further blez was blez is like maybe notably the most technical player we probably have here but isn't quite closing it like situations out and you know tech doesn't just equal winning you gotta use it right. And they're kicking at this? Okay. Calderon does take that stock. Closing out at a pretty high percentage. It's hard to get hard to get out of that Martha right sometimes. Kind of especially against Captain Falcon. So, I know I've done this probably the fifth time today. Watching that freaking first game. So now we're going to have to see what sort of counter pick Calderon is going to come up with. Calderon, he gets to pick the counter pick. If you want to. You can switch characters if you want. Yeah. Kind of. So normally you pick stage, right? So you'll say, hey, we're going to go to battlefield and then you would then he would pick his character then you would pick yours theoretically it's not really a huge deal you're like oh i'm gonna play falco if he's not changing character whatever you still get to counter pick stage however you like you don't get a band best fives oh yeah okay so we still called her on he's it looks like he's gonna switch to falco You can look at the stage list if you want. Yeah. Yep, you get any stage. It doesn't get the band. Any one of these available stages. He 
He's gonna sneak out on battlefield. I think Falco uh, has a bit of an advantage here. He has some really good stuff involving his jump heights, like being able to take advantage of top platforms specifically. Um, that's not to say Falcon's not bad here either, but I think Falco has a little bit of an edge. Cauldron hasn't played Falco, to my knowledge, a single time in the tournament, but he's feeling, he's like, you know what, Marth, Mar Marth's not working out on this guy. And he apparently has a Falco in his pocket too, so. Let's see what he knows, like, specifically with him. He's already starting up some, like, pillar combos. We're seeing utilizing Dare Shine into up tilt even. Pretty good F smash there. Closing that up could have been important to keep Calderon, like, I don't know, keep, get some, some, some momentum going. Yeah, there's another one of those action matches. Martian is doing really good, it's like trying to hold center stage and keep Falco trapped under the platform. Um, short hop nares, stuff like that. That sort of situation mixed up with like short hop back airs. Well, like using shield stops to like bait certain movements can be really, really efficient. We dare barely catch this side be there too. Oh, that's unfortunate for Martian. And he's back down. Calderon really taking advantage of some rolls and like not getting punished for it. dash right into the grab there. That's a little unfortunate. And he wasn't really able to convert anything off that punish there either. They're in some like a... It's a combination of maybe a little overzealous like call outs and like some really safe footsies. Both these guys really just want the other guy to go away. They want him off the stage right now. That's for sure. Look at that. Look at that charge dash finish. Oh, that was fantastic. Let him have the ledge there. A little strange. He might not feel confident uh, with edge guarding with Falco. It's still kind of foreign. It's like this might be a, a secondary after Marth didn't work out. Maybe he just doesn't feel as familiar with the matchup. We decided it like, might be worth it to switch. He went for a really low recovery, which was like really kind of necessary at that point. We're releasing this last stock go, go far. He probably can't recover from that one though. No. And March in Magic is gonna take the second game still. Much closer than the first one though. Keeping him honest. Yep. Okay. Calderon can stick it out without going to a dream lane for this one. He's feeling his bands. I think with like how the last game went, I, I think like, it reflects. He's a little bit more warmed up now. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see like this game go in his favor this time around. But I think Martian has a lot of area where he can still make adjustments. And the thing is, I, I constantly see this like you you can pretty frequently get away with your secondary on somebody like one time or one match. But the thing is, your ability to use that character and like catch them off guard works that one time. And after that, though, they're adjusting and now they're playing you. And your secondary probably can't do it to the level they can. At least when you're like on like similar uh, 
skill, like similar skill levels, right? Fat Goku can whip out his Falco and beat pretty much anyone in Oregon. I, I've had a handful of people in this chat the whole time, and I can't tell if they're real people or not. I don't know how to identify. Some of them sound fake, but then I see like real ones, I'm like, nah, I guess they're kind of the same pattern, and I know they're real people. I don't know who I'm addressing. Okay, there's my little footsie there. This looks, this is actually really interesting because now it's like both players are conditioned to play. They're they're playing right now all their footsies this high percent the same way they're playing out those la that last stock of the last game. But it ends up being Martian taking the first stock. Okay, he wasn't quite able to make that, even though Calderon, he, he did a back jump, the short hop to try to grab legs, didn't quite make it until the second attempt. Which would have mattered if it was a little bit closer, but it ended up being okay. You gotta protect him to flipping and again there. But um, Calderon's like pillars are looking kind of tight. He's like trying to fall on the platform and get some more for it. Martian magic though, he's like finding really good spots on uh, dissensions and stuff from Calderon, just calling out, calling out some movement stuff. That's kind of what he's, his whole stick has been. He's like been really good about identifying when people want to make tight movements right near him and able to react to them really well. Calderon is making him really work for this one. Like he's keeping him stock in stock if he takes an advantage, really like anywhere in here. And that same pattern keeps up, then it looks like he might get this game. It's still in the air though. Too close. Good throw, got the tech, got another grab. Can't get a grab off this one. He's gonna go for it. Oh, that was weird. I question if that was intentional or not, but it worked and it was kinda cool. Martian is getting crazy with some of these air dodges, though. And Calderon looks like it's on some of those downfield follow-ups, he's just kind of expecting it, like that missed tech is going to happen. And he's looking look for a shine on one of them, and he's looking for up tilt there. So this is this could be a tournament stop for Calderon. This could be the end. It looks like he's probably going to close this one out. He's got high percentage on him already. If he can maintain a low percentage like this, he might be able to take, take the following stock as well. So it's not closed out yet, but... See, those air dodges, they're, they're just barely working. Martian in a small lead here, and he has a little bit of an advantage being in the middle of this grab right now. It does end a little early though. At 52 percentage though, Falco can't really feel safe. And that's gonna close it. A stomp and a knee. Fantastic performance from Magic Martian. That's crazy. Winning from winner's side. Smacks his way through. Not without not without dropping some games. But he did win it. It's over. It's over. Oops. Martian. Yeah, Martian Magic really. Is it over, Austin? Yes, it is. We we wrapped up. Martian Magic wins. Just. Bravo, man. Really co started cooking near the end of the bracket. <laughs>